Hi folks, I want to give you a tutorial on how to reformat your personal hard drive, this very important piece of equipment that you need to bring to class every time. The reason we want to reformat is we want to make sure that we can use our hard drive between both Windows and Macintosh environments. If you don't reformat, you often run into issues where you can't write or read a file on your drive, meaning you can't save it or you can't uh, open it to work on your file. So there's a couple of different formats out there that drives get encoded with normally ones mostly a Windows type format called NTFS and the other is a format called HFS which is for Apple. If we choose a different format called uh, EXFAT that file system will work both on Windows and Macintosh. There's another uh, formatting called FAT32 that also will work between Windows and Mac. Uh, the only limitation there is that it's a 4 gigabyte file size maximum. So I recommend the EXFAT. Let's plug in this drive and we'll show you how to reformat plug it in, it'll take a second or two for it to boot up. There it is. It's called Untitled 1 right now. Let's uh, do one thing before we even think about reformatting. Let's save our files. Reformatting will erase your files. You must save them to another drive, to machine you're reformatting with, or even maybe push them up to Google Drive folder or something. You can see I've got two folders here and so I want to save my work for later so when I reformat I'll be able to put it back on there so this will take a second or two okay both of those are stored safely on my hard drive or the computer I'm working with and so now what I'm going to do is go to the go menu and I'm going to pull down to utilities we're looking for a application called Disk Utility. We launch that. Let me close that other window. Disk Utility is the tool on Macintosh to do these formatting issues and work on your drives. I accidentally, I think, ejected a drive there. Sorry about that. Not a biggie. But here we go. Okay, we've got Disk Utility open and what I'm going to do is highlight the actual name of the disk. This is a 250 gigabyte disk I'm showing you on. And I'm going to go to the partition tab here. And on this you'll get all the information of what's going on with your drive. So what we're going to do is, is I'm going to recommend a one partition reformat now. There's reasons to do multiple partitions that allows you to have a disk look like it's two or three or more separate hard drives. We're not so worried about that right now. Um, so let's just do one partition and let's give it a name. And I know that EXFAT has a short name standard. So I'm going to abbreviate media, M-E-D, and I'm going to do underscore and I'm going to use my first initial last name because that's a good standard. Um, maybe if you're working in a multiple person lab, just in case you leave your drive behind. Hint, hint. I'm going to choose the EXFAT format and then I'm going to click apply. You're going to get one last warning. Do you have files on there? Have you saved them? If you haven't, you need to cancel right now. Go back, save your files, then come back to this step. Since we did that just a few minutes ago, I'm going to go ahead and partition. In actuality, a partition should only take you a, f a few uh, seconds to a few minutes. And so you should see it pop back up on the screen of the Macintosh with the new name. You've reformatted it so that you can go between Macintosh and Windows easily, where you won't have read-write errors. I'm going to drop my files back on to the reformatted drive and as soon as those are copied over I'll be ready to go. 
So I hope this helps. Remember, EXFAT is a really good format for your hard drives, if you, especially if you're going to be moving between Windows and Macintosh. And most drives don't get shipped from the manufacturer with the EXFAT, so you need to go in and reformat your drive. Good luck with your work in digital media.